Hello, welcome to the Mantis Garden. Today, slightly different because I received this parcel earlier from uh, Devon, from a place called Bazance. So I'm going to put the link in the description below uh, to Baz's website, and he uh, he's kindly sent me some ants, of course. So we're going to have a look at uh, what's going on there. I doubt this video is going to go, I've got a different camera on because before I started this video I have by the side of me a couple of mantis that have decided to have sexy time on my window blinds so I'm kind of keeping an eye on them and kind of filming them with a different camera as well so I'm using uh, this camera which I use when I go for walks, it's on a gimbal uh, I'm hoping it's okay, it's a 4K camera so with a bit of luck it's, it should be fine um, so, I think we should open these Let's see what he sent me, because I have no idea. Okay, we'll have a go of these. Ah, I might need to put glasses on here because uh, I can't see a bloody thing. So, I'm going to grab these. Check these out. Now you know why my hair's like this. It's because every time I take my glasses off, my, my hair sticks up. Thank God, he certainly packed them well. Just make sure there's nothing here I can cut first. Take this off. The only set these last night, uh, they've not been special delivery. This is actually um, first class. This is this is the Royal Mail working well. Oh, hang on, there's another cheap video. Set. See, I don't know what it's actually sent, so we certainly packed it well. These are plastic tubes. Oh, that looks like seeds. Oh, you can see that. I'll probably do close ups after with my other camera of things. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a tube of seeds. I don't have one of these each because, as you know, I know stuff about ants, but I don't know stuff about keeping ants, and it's a completely different thing. Um, so let's have a look what we've got in here. I know what species these are. Oh my God, there's a lot in it. Well, I've got a little water there and everything. And this one's got a nice little tinfoil thing in there, so I'm assuming there's a queen in there. Oh my lord, that is a lot of ants and a lot of eggs, and I'm assuming there's a queen. I'm, I'm going to show you these uh, in a minute, close up, and hopefully with a macro lens. But yeah, wow, wow, cheers Baz. So, I think it's definitely worth looking up by the looks of these guys. I'm going to show you this, don't worry, you should be looking at it now actually, the queen's in this this one, I think, I can't tell, my eyes are terrible. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do with these is get them into uh, a bioactive enclosure. I have some ants here behind me, right behind me now, um, in this sort of jar, because these jars can actually be linked together with a, a little tube if I need be, and I could link them all across if I wanted to, so I don't know why I still got that. Yeah, see far now. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna put them in in one of those and and then try and get some uh, macro footage of them. But it's brilliant. Uh, definitely look up back at Baz Ants. Uh, I'll put his link in the description below uh, and any others he's got. Like I don't know if he has Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. I know he was starting a YouTube channel. Uh, how far he's got with that, I do not know. Um, but obviously I'll, I'll ask him for a link for it for the future, as it were. And I'll probably reference him again in in the future when when I come and have an update on these ants and I'll look and see how they're getting along. So it's not all over yet. The fat lady is not singing, as it were, if you can say that anymore. I don't know if you can say that anymore. Well, anyway, I just said it, so it's too late. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get these in the closure and uh, we'll see how they look. Okay, I don't know how much of this you can see. But basically I've got a, a an old mantis enclosure like I did with these ants and I'm going to uh, I've changed the substrate give it a clean out and change the substrate and what I've got in here is uh, this is decomposed leaf litter and some sand reptile sand in there and a bit of um, sphagnum moss and there is a drainage there just in case, but they will never get that way because I've been told by Tom from Ants on a Rock and by Baz that these have got to be kept reasonably dry for the seeds so they don't rot. But I am going to fill this up with springtails anyway, and it's got springtails in here now. They already have them in, so that's great. 
but I'm going to be putting some more in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take the old cork out as it were and bury these guys at an angle like I did with these up to the tip and then uh, so they can get out. So I'm going to get on with that and uh, I'll see you in a second. The screen on this camera is so tiny it's unbelievable so I can't actually see what you can see until I upload it to my PC and have a look on a proper size screen. Uh, but basically, uh, I'll get the other camera and show you, is I buried the tubes up to the neck and made them a bit of a mossy, stony sort of place. So I've got a dry bit here, a bit like isopods, I'm going to keep a dry bit and uh, a reasonably damp bit, but not too humid. Um, on this, on this shelf here where I'm going to put them, it usually hits around 25, 26 degrees, so it should be absolutely fine. Um, I'm sure they'll look that. All I need to do now is get some Vaseline around the top so I can get it out. I'm going to put a lid on anyway, with a nice mesh on it. But uh, I'm still going to put Vaseline around the top. Because one of these hands I found walking up my wall the other day, uh, so I don't want these ones out, these are a lot bigger. And I'll uh, probably end up squishing them. So, yeah, I'll do that. Vaseline, don't ask me why I've got it. I'm gonna stick a bit around this inside lid. So evidently, it puts them off. So, have a look. It smells pretty good too. And Vaseline when I kid it used to stink like petrol. I think that's enough. Yes. Yeah. Let's pop all it on. She can have that back now. And off my fingers. Now the fun part. Checking out the plugs. I can't fit two hands in there, so I'm going to need a brush. I'm going to get a brush or a stick. Ah, shop stick, handy. Is it the other one was going to go by? Try to lift the tube. Let's hope I don't get half the ants. Nobody on there? No. No, nobody on there. And this one. So it looks rather difficult. I can see an ant come out already. Oh god, this is difficult. No, not happening. Maybe these don't sting. Oh, right, there we go. Oh, well if they do, I'll find out because I've got one on my hand. Wow, they come out quickly. Nothing on there. Yeah, they're already out. And it appears the Vaseline does the trick. It got the Vaseline turned around, so yeah, there's a lot of ants middling around there. Oh, the last ones filled up the uh, the end of the tube with soil, blocked themselves in. So I'll have to see what these guys do. I'll chuck a few seeds on here, I think. I don't know when I'm supposed to feed them and how much, but can't be that bad, can it? A few seeds. Stick them on there, they might even grow away. Eh? I'm gonna put them on this rock. See what happens. Oh, oh. There we go. And there's that dinner. Let's pop this on here. And it should be able to get my other camera and uh, film those they are everywhere wow it's a lot of ants let's hold up with the other camera well what they've done mm. is come out and the queen's come out and they've moved all the eggs and gone underneath 
the actual tube at the front. Just let me reposition this camera. I'll see if I can find the queen. It also, as you can see, started stealing the seeds and dragging them under as well. In fact, they're nearly all gone, the ones I put in up the top. This has been 10 minutes. It's not been very long at all. Look at that. You can see that major then holding the, the seed. So I'm told they use those massive jaws to chomp up the seeds and make a pulp so the other things can eat them. The other things, the workers and the larvae, I assume. Things. Don't ask me why I call them things. I'm going to stop this camera again and move it. Say hello to the Queen. What's happening there with the focus, but yeah. Popping about a bit, but yeah. She's quite huge. I don't know why she's moved under there. They've moved, completely moved house. I don't think there's anything in the tubes anymore. And it's like been 10 15 minutes tops. Not sure how well this will focus because it's actually deciding it wants to look at me stuck behind the camera. I'm reflecting off the front. Um, but yeah, as you see, it's under the tube and they're just bringing everything down there. That ant's got something, it seems to be making a roof. Lord knows what they're doing, but I'm going to watch them for a while. Uh, as I say, everything's moved down there. So, pretty cool, basically. Now, I hope you're ready for shaky out of focus cam because I'm going to pick it up now and see if you can see anything. I'll try and keep as still as I can. And while they've all come out of there, I think there's still a few eggs or seeds or something left in here, but not much. See, it's nearly empty water in the bottom there for them and uh, yeah all the seeds are put on the top there's two or three left there's not many they've been picking them up and carrying them off and uh, placing them under here which appears to be their new home there's a lot of them which is great I don't know what that one's doing stoned yeah there's plenty of ants in there doing the thing and these look like they're going to be more fun than the other ones which are lassies niger did I mention what these are these these are messes evidently I can't remember this hmm bee messes that sort of brings a bell to my mind they are pretty cool it appears between Baz ants and ants on a rock, they've converted me a little bit. As long as I don't get radicalised, blah, 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 and uh, get rid of everything else and just have a massive lot of ants in a bug room. But they are quite fascinating and fun to watch, and they're out 24-7, which is always good when you've got a pet, even though they can't fetch a stick. They do appear to be fetching a lot of other things and shoring up their roof. So yeah, it's definitely worth running along to bazants.com. Uh, he's launching his website today, and that's why I've uh, put a pause on this. I'm, I'm, I'm basically recording this yesterday, so this is back to the future. And uh, you can check out his YouTube channel that he's got no videos on right now, but he's going to do. And he's on Facebook quite a lot these days, so those links will be in the description below for you to check out and uh, yeah thanks for watching i'm going to leave you with these ants i'll see you next time bye bye